Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about luxury bag trends for the upcoming spring summer season. I am covering all the bag trends which I just think we're gonna see so much of over the next couple of months, as well as those which perhaps aren't gonna be quite as popular. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up, and this is by no means a new trend at this point, but it is puffy bags. This one is just going from strength to strength. I feel like we first saw it make a big comeback a few years ago with the Saint Laurent puffer style. They've since really expanded that line and now have so many varieties of their classic puffer bag. I'm a huge fan of it. You guys will know that if you followed me for a while, I have pretty much every size and I just adore it. I think it's such a cute bag and they continue to release really, really beautiful colors. I have my eyes on their gorgeous new gray one but there are so many different textures and combinations fabrics just so much to choose from and that's everything right from the mini size right through to the kind of small one which is my personal favorite size as well as the original medium one which is called medium but which is actually the large one so Saint Laurent are going really really strong with their puffer styles but they've also released their new five to seven bag in the puffer bag style and they seem to be doing this a lot where they do release a kind of classic silhouette and then they re-release it with a more puffy kind of quilted leather texture and I am all for that because I just adore this like I think it's really really nice to have that puffy element especially because it does seem to make the bag feel a little bit more luxurious it's a little bit more fun and playful and overall I just think they look fantastic so I am a huge huge fan of this by no means a Saint Laurent the only brand doing this style though Balmont are one brand which have also released some puffy bag styles I don't feel like they're really known for their bags um, but they have some adorable more kind of quilted puffy texture bags and I think these are absolutely gorgeous as well so definitely another strong one and I feel like originally puffer bags were perhaps a little bit more geared towards the autumn winter seasons whereas now I feel like we're seeing them all year long in really kind of pale summer appropriate colors and I just think they're so fun and gorgeous. So definitely a huge new trend. If you've been on the fence and you know, you really love the style, but you weren't sure if it has longevity. Personally, this has surprised me with how well it's lasted, but I really don't think that puffer bags are going anywhere anytime soon. If anything, I think we're going to be seeing even more of them in the next few years. Next up are bags which are just a little bit extra and obviously that's quite a wide term um, but here I'm really talking about styles with a lot of embellishment whether that is sequins or beads or just really kind of bright pops of color. I feel like I'm seeing so many more styles that are just really decorated up to the max and certainly during the pandemic I think that a lot of styles really geared towards a more subtle kind of minimalist nature for obvious reasons um, whereas now I feel like there's a reaction to that and some of the styles are just full on really out there like Valentino are doing a ton of styles which really have everything going on from the colors to the sequins to just general embellishment so many of them are super super pretty definitely statement making bags like these really aren't kind of that subtle quiet luxury that I know is going on at the moment as well but this is if anything the complete opposite of that but it's really fun if you do want an absolute showstopper of a bag. Valentino are definitely not the only ones doing this though. Alexander McQueen also have a ton of styles and that's in everything from their classic box clutches to some of their other styles and they are really, really, again, embellished to the max, just like beads and sequins and just so many beautiful, really intricately made designs. There are some on the lower end as well and these are still very much luxury, um, but Stout, if that's how you say it. I have never known how to say this brand. So if you do know, please let me know in the comment section. But they have also released styles with a ton of beads, just so many beautiful works of art. And I do kind of consider these bags to be actual works of art with the attention to detail. Perhaps not one that you'd want to carry every day, um, but certainly if you're looking for something just to bring out for special occasions, then there are a lot to choose from this season. And kind of carrying on with that theme are really, really bold colors. And that's everything from super bright neon shades right through to more deeper kind of jewel tones, which traditionally you would usually only see around autumn, winter. Um, but now I'm seeing so many beautiful deep jewel tones for spring, summer as well. And as I said, this is everything from super bright pops of pink, you know, Saint Laurent are doing a really bright pink. Valentino is still doing a ton of that really bright Barbie pink. Christian and Bouton are doing a pink as well 
just so many bright pops of that really, really out there, super attention grabbing pink shade, right through to some really beautiful deep green colors. And there are neon greens as well. I think Saint Laurent have come out with quite a bright neon green. Um, I'd always say, unless you particularly love neon colors, I never really consider neon shades to be particularly classic. Um, but certainly if you did want to pop a color and you wanted something with a good amount of longevity, I think deeper shades are always such a safe bet, especially if you really love the color. I know Mew Mew have done a beautiful green, Valentino have also done a really stunning deep green shade, and Gucci have as well. Gucci have so many beautiful colors and bags at the moment. Really kind of having that beautiful rich color palette which just makes the styles really, really pop. And in particular, I feel like we're seeing two colors so much in particular. And you know, there are always some colors which are always gonna be popular that get released year after year. Here I'm talking about, you know, your baby pinks, your baby blues, reds, those colors which are always released because they're so popular. This year, I feel like we're seeing so much of both yellow and sage green. So in terms of yellow bags, I feel like every brand has released some kind of yellow shade. And it's a really pretty kind of almost primrose yellow that we're seeing a lot of. I know Chloe are doing a few styles in a really lovely shade of yellow, including their very famous at this point Chloe Woody Toe as well. And I just think this is so super pretty. Valentino have also released a beautiful yellow shade, and I feel like whenever there's a new bag trend, Valentino are really on it at the moment. Loewe have also done a style in yellow, Christian and Bouton, and Jacquemus as well, who again is one of those brands which I feel like they're always on the forefront of every single trend. They've also released a really lovely yellow shade, so if you are a yellow fan, I feel like you're really gonna be in luck this season because there are just so many beautiful styles to choose from. And as a slightly more unusual one, Sage Green is also having a proper moment. And I don't think I've ever said that sentence before because usually Sage Green is not a particularly popular color when it comes to bags, but this shade of green is beautiful. And I'm not really someone who really gravitates towards green colors in general, but this is such a beautiful muted shade, like really, really elegant. I actually feel like it'd be very easy to wear. I feel like every brand is doing something in this color palette. So Bottega Veneta have done a ton of styles, including including their really popular Jody style. We're also seeing Gucci as well, and their Mormont style looks absolutely beautiful in the sage green. But as I said, so many brands are doing this from APC to Tory Burch, Loewe, Valentino, like literally every single brand it seems to be doing some kind of sage green bag. And I just think this is such a lovely trend and actually one which I think works beautifully for spring summer, but also transitions really nicely into autumn as well. Such a different color, um, but I just think it's absolutely stunning. Next up are raffia and wicker styles, and I feel like this is a trend that we just see every single year when it comes to the warmer months. Yes, it is a seasonal style, but I do feel like if you pick right, you'll be able to have it in your wardrobe for years and years because it is a trend, but it's a trend that comes around every single year and every brand does them to really kind of be in keeping with that warmer summer style. Um, my Saint Laurent cape bag is going to be getting a lot of use this year. I am so excited for it. I got it really at the tail end of summer last year, so I didn't have as much chance to use it as I was hoping for um, but I have all the holiday plans this summer I'm very very excited for it um, and I fully plan on using this pretty much everywhere Saint Laurent are doing a ton of wicker bag styles though so they do have my cape bag style in that kind of wicker raffia design um, but they also have more natural versions so if you wanted that more kind of um, I guess lightly neutral color palette then Saint Laurent just have so many different styles to choose from from their smaller bags right through to tote bag styles I've also seen that they have released their Uptown Clutch, which I know is still such a popular style, in a new raffia bag as well. And I feel like this is such a nice way of indulging the trend without spending thousands and thousands, which, you know, you may not want to do. It is a very seasonally specific style. So if you're not super keen on spending a lot of money, which you'll only be able to use for a few months of the year, depending on the weather where you live, then I think this is a really nice option. Really in keeping, you'll probably get a lot of use out of it during the summer months, but it's not the end of the world if you do have to tuck it away during winter. There are so many other brands doing this though and I feel like you can name a brand and they will have a wicker or a raffia bag style. Jacquemus have a really, really beautiful one which I just think is stunning. Chloe have a new wicker style as well which I am absolutely obsessed with. It is so gorgeous. There are also a lot of kind of lower end luxury which is a weird sentence to say because these are still really expensive but brands like Isabel Moran also have some beautiful styles. Again, very luxurious and expensive but not quite kind of Saint Laurent 
on and above at price levels. Next up are baguette shaped bags and I feel like this trend has been brewing for a couple of seasons now but I think we're seeing so many of this kind of design pop up and again I am completely here for it. So Fendi is the obvious one with their baguette style and this is nothing new, this was a re-release of their original baguette but I do think the style is actually here to stay which I'm really excited about because I think it's adorable and they have so many different designs in their kind of Fendi lineup from you know sequins through to leather, they have the beautiful quilted versions, just so many different styles in the baguette line and they are a little bit spendy for sure um, but Fendi is just so gorgeous and I've always been so delighted with pretty much every bag style I've gotten from them. APC are another brand which have come out with a baguette style. If you're not familiar with APC then they are a French brand. I never actually owned a bag from them but I have owned a few of their clothing pieces and they are gorgeous. Very like French chic, very understated but beautifully made. Prada is another very classic brand who have come out with their own baguette style and of course Valentino right on trend as usual with their baguette bags as well and as I said I just love this one a really elegant style really fun for spring summer when you know you're less likely to need an umbrella unless you live in the UK but generally speaking I feel like in the summer months you do carry a bit less so this is a perfect season to indulge in the baguette style if it was something that caught your fancy. And then finally for bag trends that are going to be really really big this year we are seeing worn in bags make a comeback and I am so excited about this it's not really one I saw coming but I think it's so genius and of course you can buy now worn in bags new which seems like a crazy sentence but Bottega have released a worn in bag style Saint Laurent have got a kind of distressed leather going on uh, Givenchy also have a hobo which is more of like a distressed leather look Personally though, I would not buy something that already looked distressed, like I can deal with it for my jeans and denim, but when it comes to bags, I just don't understand why you would. You just grab a bag that you already own that's been well loved and just wear it as you would, you know, that's already the trend in and of itself and I've actually seen reports of really kind of worn in bags doing really well on resale sites as well so maybe if you have some to offload or if you're kind of in the market for one you might be able to pick up a bargain otherwise I'd say just shop your closet and use something that's been really well loved and worn in and you're right on trend and it's like how many times the fashion trends actually encourage you to shop what you already have and really use what you already own and love so I think this is such a great one which I I'm super excited about. And now for the bag trends which I think we're going to be seeing a little bit less of and when it comes to bag styles to ditch especially when it comes to a luxury price point I would always say that the most important thing is to be guided by what you actually love and use in your day-to-day -day life because so many bag trends I love in theory and then I try them and I realize they don't actually work for my lifestyle and how I dress and how I live my life um, so whilst it's fun to look at trends I'd always say when you're thinking about actually ditching style it should be led by what you actually use um, um, that said, I think that these styles we're going to be seeing a lot less of in terms of new bags being brought to us in kind of whatever store you shop at. So the first one are monograms. And I feel like monogram and kind of really big brands and logos are really having a moment. And certainly I'm not seeing kind of oversized logos go away, but certainly that more kind of um, smaller print monogram, I'm just not seeing as much of. And that isn't true across the board, you know, Louis Vuitton certainly aren't going anywhere with their monogram. Um, but certainly when it comes to other brands, you know, Gucci, I felt like we were really seeing a lot of their monogram print for a while. Balenciaga the same. Um, I just feel like they're releasing more styles which are more heavily reliant on their leathers rather than their monograms, which are often produced in their canvas styles. Um, so that's definitely one that I'm not seeing as much of. Personally, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. You know, I love some monograms. I'm a huge fan of Louis Vuitton for that reason, um, but I do love my leather bag style. So not altogether one that I'm super sad about, um, but I do think it's interesting in the general steering away from that really kind of loud logo print. The next bag trend, which I'm definitely seeing a lot less of these days, is overly structured, kind of smaller, more novelty bags. And here I'm really thinking of those vanity bags, which became really popular a few years ago. I know Chanel got really popular with their kind of smaller vanity case kit, which was used as a little crossbody. Saint Laurent have a version of it, like a few brands have done that vanity bag style, but I'm just seeing it so much less than I used to. And I'd say that for novelty bags in general, but I don't necessarily think that 
that's true because I'm seeing a lot of heart bag styles still and just generally more kind of quirky designs but certainly when it comes to those more smaller boxy shapes which are really really structured I feel like they were really popular a couple of years ago but now I think we're seeing a return to slightly more practical styles that can be worn a multitude of different ways but which are actually a little bit more functional to use which I always think is a good thing because you know if it's one thing that I've learned that if a luxury item is beautiful but completely useless I'm just simply not going to reach for it whereas if something is truly functional and kind of luxurious in its functionality it's more likely to become a firm favorite in my collection in my wardrobe in general so definitely not one I'm overly sad I never really bought into the whole vanity bag thing and um, just because to be honest I found it a lot of money on something that was so small um but yeah this is definitely one I'm seeing a lot less of these days and then kind of carrying on that same theme I'm seeing a, a lot less of the again very structured but slightly larger top handles that we traditionally sought for more work style bags and I do think this is as a result of the pandemic again you know I think the pandemic saw a huge shift in terms of how people work there's a lot more work from home going on now but also how people dress and how formal people are expected to dress as well I do think this is quite a formal style bag um, I'm certainly seeing a lot less of it I do feel like every single year I see articles about how it's the return of the larger bag and it doesn't usually happen you know I do see still the emphasis very much on smaller crossbodies maybe medium-sized shoulder bags I haven't really seen a big return to the larger bag but I am seeing a lot more kind of larger shoulder bag and hobo style instead of the top handle so whilst there are still a ton of them there are certainly more than that kind of more traditional almost briefcase inspired design which I barely see anymore for better or for worse so it probably depends on how much you like the style originally um, I am seeing a lot of the kind of original designs that are in that size and shape kind of shrunk down so I know Mulberry have just released the Islington which I think is so beautiful and this one is basically a small shrunk down top handle they have released it in a larger size too but they've only released it in a few colors whereas the emphasis seems to be very much more on that smaller bag style so I don't think that structured bags are going away um, but I do think that they've definitely shrunk similarly I don't think that larger bags have gone away but I do think that there is more of an emphasis on kind of more shoulder bags and hobo styles in general and very much a step away from the traditional top handle style bag so that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will include links to all the bags I can in the description section below. Let me know what you think of the bag trends I covered in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you love them or do you hate them? If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. I don't know how or how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Stuck upside down, I might be dreaming.